At the heart of Eastern Europe lies Ukraine, a land of sprawling steppes, ancient cities, and fierce resilience. For centuries, its people have stood at the crossroads of empires, cultures, and civilizations. But while Ukrainian identity is often tied to language, faith, and national history, a deeper story is written in the very blood of its people, its DNA. Recent genetic studies have begun to unearth a far more intricate story than previously imagined. The genetic origins of Ukrainians are not confined to the Slavic migrations of the early Middle Ages. Instead, they reach back tens of thousands of years and stretch across vast territories, from the icy forests of Siberia to the sun-soaked shores of the Mediterranean. In Ukraine, every wave of human migration has left a trace. Hunter-gatherers, Neolithic farmers, steppe nomads, Greek colonists, Viking raiders, and Mongol horsemen. Each group contributed to the formation of what it means to be Ukrainian today. What's perhaps most surprising is just how diverse and layered the Ukrainian genome truly is. Modern Ukrainians carry genes from some of the most influential and far-flung ancient populations known to science. And despite centuries of political division and foreign domination, this genetic tapestry has remained remarkably persistent and rich. In this video, we'll explore how DNA is revealing a far more complex and surprising picture of Ukrainian origins. From prehistoric tribes and steppe empires to Slavic expansions and modern border shifts, this is the genetic story of a nation that has always been more than just a battlefield between East and West. It's a story of survival, synthesis, and identity, written not in books, but in the code of life itself. Long before the emergence of the Ukrainian nation, even before the concept of Slavs, the territory of modern Ukraine was home to some of Europe's earliest humans. Archaeological and genetic evidence points to a human presence in the region dating back over 40,000 years. These Paleolithic hunter-gatherers, part of what scientists call the Western Eurasian lineage, roamed the mammoth-filled steppes and river valleys during the Ice Age. Their genetic legacy can still be faintly detected in the DNA of modern Ukrainians. One of the oldest and most significant discoveries comes from the Kostenki and Sungir sites in Russia and Ukraine, where burials have revealed early modern humans with genetic links to both modern Europeans and some Central Asian populations. These people were part of the Gravedian culture, known for its sophisticated tools and symbolic art. But a major transformation occurred around 8,000 to 6,000 years ago with the arrival of Neolithic farmers from Anatolia, modern-day Turkey. These migrants brought with them not just agriculture, but a whole new genetic profile, one that blended with the indigenous hunter-gatherers. These early farmers are often linked to the linear pottery culture, LBK, and Kukitini tripilia culture the latter of which flourished in what is now western Ukraine. The Tripilians built large settlements, crafted intricate pottery, and may have practiced one of the earliest forms of proto-urban life in Europe. Genetic testing shows that modern Ukrainians still carry markers from both the hunter-gatherer and Neolithic farmer lineages, suggesting that rather than being displaced, the original inhabitants intermingled with incoming peoples. This mixture laid the foundation for a hybrid population that would absorb even more genetic influences in the millennia to come. Thus, the Ukrainian genome is not a blank slate upon which history wrote later chapters, but a palimpsest layered with ancient stories. These prehistoric roots form the base of a diverse and enduring genetic identity, one that helps explain the region's continued role as a meeting place for civilizations, ideas, and peoples. Around 5,000 years ago, the flat grasslands of what is now Ukraine were home to a powerful and mobile people known as the Yamnaya. These were not sedentary farmers or city builders like their Neolithic predecessors. They were nomadic pastoralists, expert horse riders, and possibly the first humans to domesticate the wheel for transport. Their sudden expansion across Europe and parts of Asia marks one of the most dramatic population movements in prehistory and their impact on the genetics of Ukrainians and much of Europe is profound. The Yamnaya culture, centered in the Pontic Caspian steppe, is considered by many geneticists and linguists to be the primary driver of the Indo-European language family, which today spans from Hindi to English. Their success may have stemmed from their mobility, 
hierarchical social structure, and technological innovations, such as wheeled carts and bronze tools. But it's the genetic signature they left behind that tells an even more powerful story. Genetic studies reveal that the Yamnea carried a distinct mix of Eastern European hunter-gatherer and Caucasus-related ancestry. When they expanded westward into Central and Western Europe, they didn't just influence language and culture. They replaced up to 75% of a local genetic makeup in some regions. This is considered one of the most substantial population turnovers in European history. In Ukraine, however, the story is more balanced. Rather than displacing the earlier Tripillion farmers and local foragers entirely, the Yamnea blended with existing populations. Modern Ukrainians carry a significant portion of Yamnea ancestry, far more than many Western Europeans, but also retain deeper layers from the Neolithic and Mesolithic past. The Yamnea also brought with them Haplogroup R1b, a paternal lineage that is now widespread across Europe. Interestingly, Ukraine is a crossroads for both R1b and R1a, another dominant haplogroup often associated with Indo-European-speaking populations in Eastern Europe and South Asia. This reflects Ukraine's position at the genetic and linguistic crossroads of Eurasia. So, the genetic legacy of the Amnea is not just a distant footnote. It's a major thread in the fabric of Ukrainian identity. Their migration helped shape the languages, genes, and even cultural values that continue to echo across Europe today. Before the Slavs emerged as a dominant force in Eastern Europe, the territory of modern Ukraine was a cultural and genetic crossroads inhabited by a diverse array of Iron Age peoples. Among the most prominent were the Scythians, Sarmatians, and Greeks, each leaving behind layers of ancestry and cultural influence that still echo in the region's genetic makeup. The Scythians, who flourished from roughly the 7th to 3rd centuries BCE, were a confederation of Iranian-speaking nomadic tribes who roamed the Pontic Steppe. Known for their skill in mounted warfare, elaborate gold jewelry, and burial mounds called kurgans, the Scythians had strong ties to earlier steppe cultures like the Amnea, but it also absorbed Near Eastern and Central Asian elements. Ancient DNA from Scythian graves in Ukraine reveals a genetic mix of steppe, Siberian, and Caucasus ancestry, marking them as a blend of indigenous and incoming populations. Following the Scythians came the Sarmatians, another Iranian-speaking group closely related to the Scythians, but with more Eastern genetic input. By the first century CE, they had largely replaced the Scythians across much of the region. Their genetic footprint is detectable today, especially in eastern Ukraine, where traces of East Eurasian lineages appear in low but measurable amounts, likely remnants of these ancient nomadic tribes. Meanwhile, along the Black Sea coast, Greek colonists established thriving city-states such as Albia, Chersonesus, and Tyrus beginning in the 6th century BCE. These cities were trade hubs that connected the Mediterranean world with the steppe interior. Greek settlers intermixed with local populations, introducing Mediterranean genes, art, architecture, and writing systems. DNA evidence from coastal burial sites shows admixture between Greek colonists and local steppe peoples, further enriching the genetic mosaic of the region. Together, the Scythians, Sarmatians, and Greeks contributed to a multi-layered Iron Age genetic landscape in Ukraine. While later populations would blend and shift these foundations, echoes of these ancient peoples can still be traced in the DNA of modern Ukrainians, proof that the region was never isolated, but always a meeting point between worlds. The collapse of the Roman Empire and the weakening of steppe empires in the early 1st millennium CE set the stage for a profound demographic transformation across Eastern Europe. In the heart of this transition were the early Slavs and agricultural people who, between the 5th and 7th century CE, expanded from their core regions, likely in present-day Poland, Belarus, and northwestern Ukraine, into the Balkans, Central Europe, and the Carpathians. This Slavic expansion not only reshaped the linguistic and cultural map of Europe, but also deeply influenced the genetic structure of modern Ukrainians. As the Slavs migrated south and east, they encountered and often merged with the remnants of earlier populations, Scythians, Sarmatians, Thracians, Dacians, and Romanized groups, resulting in a blending of genetic lineages. 
the early Slavs brought with them a distinctive set of Eastern European genetic markers, particularly Y-DNA haplogroups like R1A, which became widespread among Slavic-speaking peoples. In Ukraine, this lineage today remains one of the most dominant, a legacy of this expansive movement. By the 9th century, these loosely organized Slavic tribes began to consolidate into early political entities. Among the most significant was Kievan Rus, a federation of East Slavic tribes centered in Kiev and established by the Varangians, Norse warriors and traders who assimilated with the Slavic majority. Though Norse in origin, the Varangians left only a modest genetic imprint, with their primary contribution being cultural and political. The formation of a centralized state, the spread of Christianity in 988 CE, and the rise of Kiev as a political and spiritual center. Medieval Ukraine became a patchwork of duchies and principalities, often influenced by neighboring powers such as the Byzantine Empire, Poland, Hungary, and the Khazar Khaganate. This period of regional fragmentation and foreign influence brought new waves of genetic input, including Turkic, Balkan, and Western European elements further enriching the Ukrainian gene pool. Thus, the Slavic expansion was not a clean replacement of earlier peoples, but a gradual blending, forming the ethnic and genetic base of modern Ukrainians. Through centuries of migrations, alliances, and kingdoms, Ukraine developed as a cultural and genetic crossroads, an identity forged not through isolation, but through layers of convergence and change. The 13th century marked a profound upheaval in Eastern Europe as the Mongol Empire, under Genghis Khan and his successors, stormed westward across the Eurasian steppes. In 1240, the city of Kiev was sacked by the Mongols, bringing the powerful state of Kievan Rus to its knees. This invasion wasn't just a political turning point. It left lasting genetic and cultural footprints across the region, including present-day Ukraine. While the Mongols themselves were relatively few in number, their dominance established the Golden Horde, a western division of the Mongol Empire that ruled over much of Ukraine and Russia for nearly 250 years. During this time, Turkic-speaking peoples, especially Tatars, became the administrative and military backbone of the Horde. The intermixing between Slavic populations and Turkic groups, some of whom settled permanently, introduced new genetic lineages, particularly in eastern and southern Ukraine. One of the most prominent legacies of this era is the presence of Turkic genetic markers, including haplogroups like C2 and Q, which are rare but traceable among some modern Ukrainians. These threads are especially visible in regions that later became home to Crimean Tatars, a Turkic Muslim people who descended from a fusion of Mongol, Kipchak, and local populations. The Crimean Khanate, a successor state to the Golden Horde, maintained a powerful presence in the Black Sea region from the 15th to 18th centuries and continued to influence the cultural and genetic landscape. Beyond Crimea, Turkic elements also persisted in steppe regions, where nomadic and semi-nomadic lifestyles allowed for inter-ethnic interactions over centuries. Marriages, alliances, and migrations all contributed to a genetic mosaic that blended Slavic, Turkic, and Mongolic elements. Despite their foreign origins, many of these lineages became integrated into the local population, contributing to Ukraine's complex identity. The Mongol and Turkic impact, while sometimes viewed historically as a disruption, also served to connect Ukraine more closely to Central Asia and the broader Eurasian world adding yet another layer to its rich genetic heritage. As Ukraine transitioned from the medieval to the modern era, its genetic and cultural identity was shaped by the shifting borders and influences of three major powers, the Austro-Hungarian Empire, the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, and the Russian Empire. Each left distinct genetic traces and cultural imprints, particularly in different regions of what is now Ukraine. In Western Ukraine, especially Galicia and Bukovina, centuries of rule under Austro-Hungarian control brought interaction with Central European populations. Migration and intermarriage with Austrians, Hungarians, Germans, Czechs, and Slovaks introduced Western European haplogroups, contributing to a subtle genetic westward pull in this region. These areas also experienced religious and cultural diversity, which fostered blending across ethnic lines. 
Meanwhile, northern and central Ukraine were heavily shaped by their long association with Poland and Lithuania. The Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, which controlled much of Ukraine from the 16th to 18th centuries, left a strong genetic and linguistic influence. Polish noble families, settlers, and Catholic clergy often intermarried with local Ruthenians, reinforcing shared Slavic ancestry, but also introducing Western Slavic genetic elements. In contrast, eastern and southern Ukraine fell under Russian imperial control, with waves of Russian migration encouraged by imperial policies. Industrialization, Russification, and urban development during the 18th and 19th centuries further increased genetic exchange. Russian influence was also reinforced through military colonization and administrative roles, embedding Eastern Slavic markers into the region's gene pool. These overlapping layers of Austro-Hungarian, Polish, and Russian ancestry mean that Ukrainians today carry a remarkably diverse genetic heritage. Depending on region, family origin, and migration history, modern Ukrainians might trace different combinations of Central European, Slavic, and Eastern Eurasian lineages reflecting centuries of political division and cultural convergence. Modern DNA analysis reveals that Ukrainians are not defined by a single ancestral thread, but rather by a mosaic of lineages shaped by thousands of years of migrations, invasions, and cultural exchanges. Genetically, Ukrainians share strong ties with neighboring Slavic populations, such as Poles, Belarusians, and Russians, yet also carry unique signatures that distinguish them as a distinct people. One of the most prominent markers in Ukrainian DNA is the presence of Indo-European steppe ancestry, rooted in the ancient Yamnaya culture that spread from the Pontic Caspian steppe. This deep genetic legacy connects Ukrainians to one of the founding populations of modern Europe and underlines their role in early Indo-European history. At the same time, regional differences within Ukraine reflect its complex past. Western Ukrainians often show closer genetic affinities to Central Europeans due to Austro-Hungarian and Polish influence. Eastern and Southern Ukrainians tend to share more markers with Russians and Turkic peoples, reflecting historical interactions with the Russian Empire, the Mongols, and steppe nomads. Surprisingly, Ukrainian DNA also contains traces from Greeks, Jews, Tatars, and other groups testimony to Ukraine's long-standing role as a cultural crossroads. This diversity challenges any rigid notions of national or ethnic purity. In today's context, DNA is helping many Ukrainians understand that their identity is not solely tied to modern borders or political narratives. It is instead a shared legacy of migration, resilience, and fusion, a biological reflection of Ukraine's deep historical and cultural complexity.